when you're talking about best practices of, of preparation, Mitch, do you have any other, you know, uh, feedback or advice to the audience here on what they should be doing to prepare well, or what they should be doing that training? Oh, sure. I mean, first of all, you, you know, your question asks, when do I think that lenders should, uh, in fact, start in this particular process? And, and you know, the answer is they should have started yesterday, quite frankly. There is a lot to learn over here. This is a new disclosure structure that, uh, that loan officers and employees have to be trained on. You cannot wait and, and rely upon vendors. Uh, the calculation for tolerances is, in fact, very different, and loan officers are going to have to be able to distinguish between which tolerance applies, whether or not it's an affiliated company, whether or not they chose someone off a list uh, of providers, or they just chose their own provider themselves. So that calculation itself is very difficult. The calculation of the cost of credit over five years is difficult. In fact, the entire disclosure, as I said before, it, you know, reflects a change of paradigm itself. Training is the key, and what needs to be done is the rule has got to be broken down step by step so that as a company and its employees, you get a better understanding of what the changes are, how they're going to affect your process, and you've got to implement those changes to the process itself. It's a much different structure, the form is different, uh, and the process itself uh, varies to the point where you might as well just throw out the old and, and, and take a look at the new and learn it and, uh, and learn it well.